Okay, welcome back to the Krumbach and uh, we have now harvested, well almost harvested that wheat field. There is a couple of patches and this this corner here to get sorted and the worker uh, roll at field 37 so that's ready to go on the for the for the corn there's no need uh, we just need to need to get wait till the weeds come off and then we are gonna spray those off and yeah and now now we're gonna complete this harvest and after that we gonna I mean today we gonna bale these straws hopefully we, we will get a good amount of bales we got a headstone baler on our farm which I haven't used uh, I think I have used it uh, ever that kind of headstone baler but we can hopefully we can do it and we got a different uh, bale trailer that's uh, semi auto load and it kind of manual auto load <coughs> but and yeah hopefully we will get a good amount of straw bales. I don't know if we gonna store those bales to the bale shed, but we, which we own, but uh, I think that uh, I might use it, but I I didn't want to do that, but <coughs> obviously before we get, I mean, when I start this game save, I try to delete that that bale bale shed what we own, but it it not allowed to delete that shed because it, it it's it's like the design to this this map, so it, it's not a placeable object. So you can't remove that. But yeah, there is that corner, and then there is uh, that couple of patches uh, across the field. Let's start this way. There is a little patch. Let's take everything. So we might get uh, 50,000 liters from this field, that's pretty good. And obviously because we don't have uh, chickens or pigs, we just... What is the 38,000 liters? Best price for f is January. So, we're not gonna sell this. There's it almost double the double the payment in the January. So we're gonna leave these to the silo and wait for the right time to right time to sell these with the maximum profit. But yeah, that is now harvested. Yeah, well, let's take this with the combine, empty it out. Then we gotta, we gotta get a header trailer and we're gonna 
park this harvester back to the shed. Now it's empty. Pipe in. And then we're gonna unfold the harvester. I mean, fold or unfold. Just gotta turn it that way and we're gonna park this on the shed. I'm thinking about that. I, I will put the header trailer beside of the beside of the shed over there so we, we can have much more room to our big equipment that can be over there obviously can we do the where is the shit mm, that would be nice mm, where are those there is so much stuff in the there Mm. Not that one. Too big. That could be perfect. That is almost perfect. Let's park this harvester in here. Mm, little bit gap on there, but that that's okay. That 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 is good. I like it. But yeah. Back to here. So we got almost, well, 11,000 liters of wheat. So, so we, we got uh, 50,000 liters. Now we're just gonna park the trailer back to the shed. We got nice Joshkin set up here. I really like these these trailers. They are pretty nice. But yeah, let's take a look at out the is there anything? No, Silverado. That would be cool. Old friend favorite. 800. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, not yet. Uh, where is Baylor? Uh, 
190 horsepower. So, mm. Mm, let's take the. Let's take this one. This is a big. I believe this was the bigger one. Yes. So this 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 have have to pull that baler pretty good. So as you can see, we got here some silage and mm, little bit of hay, and this this is empty, empty. At least from now. I don't know if we gonna store those bales to the over there, but uh, the bale trailer. I think that it won't suit uh, on that that shed because it's it, it's maybe too high. So. That is our pail trailer. We're gonna use that one. So now we need to take the help window on because we need to check out the um, okay. So okay, it. Can this? Oh yeah. So you you can change the can change the size of the Heston bells. So they are what they are. Yeah, let's start bailing. Let's see how many bales we can get. Pretty nice one. Let's take the... help window off and yeah I will put some music so you can see the some kind of bailing with the music
Okay, now the, all the bales are baled. Let's unload this baler and fold it up. Yeah. Let's see how m many bales we get. There is a uh, 15. 15 bales and they are all 30,000 liters. So... Mm, there is about 200,000 liters of straw. Where do we... Let's put this on the next uh, bale trailer. Yeah, and now we grab a bale trailer and try this one. I never used this. Also, so this is a uh, new for me. I don't know how this even works, but I think this will fold up to the sideways. Now we need a help window. Mm. Unfold bale trailer. Okay. Operating position. Okay. How this work? Extend a little bit. Mm, I thought this would be a uh, overloader, but I think this ain't. Oh, it is. Nice. Okay. Now we can hide this. Let's grab those for the far end. Mm. Uh. Okay. This is a very interesting Okay And now we just have to it back and then we're gonna travel this way So you need to push these bales <clears throat> This is a kind of tricky It's not the easiest bale trailer that I have used But It's different So you you have to <coughs> put some effort by you 
and now we just gonna lower it down and grab the last two can we notch a little bit yeah perfect yeah now it's full so let's go transporting position oh that folded up mm. Now we need to now we need to do it that way. So actually where do we put these bales? Can we put these over to that shit. The, I think that is a little bit too low. It's not gonna fit. I just know. Mm. So let's see if the this. Bale storage shed good uh, okay unload bales interesting oh no oh no mm. okay they are here mm. lower platform that's a little bit too big. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna do those five more and see you when we start mixing some TMR for our cows. <laughs> 